Hey, what's up guys? Adam here. Today for you guys, I have a hands-on demo of Windows 8. Windows 8, for you guys that don't know, is the upcoming new version of Windows to replace Windows 7. It's going to be available for both tablets along with laptops, netbooks, and desktop computers in probably about 2012. Right now, what I have for you guys is the developer preview. You guys can check this out at dev.windows.com. It's currently available. You can just download it on your computer. And right now, I have it running in a virtual box. I don't recommend installing it as your main operating system for obvious reasons uh, but basically guys the first thing I want to show you guys with Windows 8 is the new uh, features and first off the new feature is the lock screen uh, so this is the lock screen you guys can see right here it pretty much does look like a phone or a tablet's lock screen Microsoft is definitely changing a lot of things with Windows 8 and the first thing is they're kind of making it a lot more tablet based which you guys will see once I go ahead and unlock it uh, so basically real quick the lock screen it's pretty simple you have your date you have your time and then you have a few different things down here number one you have your network connectivity you have your battery and you'll have any available notifications on your computer so basically to unlock this you just slide up and then you'll be brought to the security page I just type in my password that's how I have it set to unlock the uh, Windows 8 computer so guys this is the main screen on Windows 8 you guys can see here it's a lot different than what we've ever seen before with Windows it looks a lot like Windows Phone 7 which is Microsoft's uh, mobile phone operating system and it basically takes that makes it larger it makes it side by side and that's what you have this is called Metro UI basically these are live tiles of applications uh, so in the final release of Windows 8 these applications will be moving they'll be changing and they'll be displaying tons of information which is a really cool feature for me for some reason the applications are not really working on my version of Windows 8 I can't really click on them besides a few of them uh, and the live tiles are not really working uh, basically if I go ahead and try to click on Internet Explorer you guys can see here uh, I'm clicking right now nothing really happens it's just not really working it's kind of glitchy because it's a beta uh, but basically guys you can see here you can first off you can just scroll like side to side with your uh, trackpad you can also go ahead and uh, you know scroll up and down with your mouse you can use the scroll wheel on the bottom and you can scroll side to side as well or you can go ahead and just use you know your keyboard you can click the uh, right key and just scroll to the right just like that very simple and these are a lot of the applications that will be running uh, on your Windows 8 computer that will come pre-installed so we have a bunch of different applications we have Internet Explorer we have uh, a store which is gonna be a app store once it's finally working we have, uh, you know, the control panel, the weather, the stocks, and much, much more. So one more thing with this Metro UI is this up here. This is your little user account. You can scroll over the icon, and you guys can see here that you can change the user tile. You can lock the computer, log off, and add new user. Now, there's one other really cool thing with Windows 8, and this is that it completely takes Windows 7 and kind of puts it as a live tile. So this desktop tile that you guys see right there, that will literally bring you to your old Windows 7 desktop. So if I click on that, now you guys can see here, this is the familiar Windows 7 user interface. A little bit different. For example, you guys can see here the new uh, Windows key on the bottom. If you go ahead and drag your mouse over that, you guys can see the settings. You can see devices, share, and search. And then you can go ahead and see the little pop-up, which shows the time, the date, and all of that. Uh, so one thing I want to show you guys is, for example, the settings. You guys can see here kind of pops out from the right, which is a big change with Windows 8. So a lot of the things are going to be kind of like this. It's going to kind of be looking like the Metro UI, which I think is pretty nice looking. Uh, now now you guys can also go into the Windows Explorer. You guys can see it looks a little bit different up top. Uh, so Windows Explorer, you know, this part of the Windows Explorer looks a lot different than Windows 7. And you guys can see here if that I go ahead and switch back over to the Metro UI and I scroll to the bottom left, we have that same, you know, Windows icon. And one thing here with search over here is you guys can actually search for all your different applications. Uh, so this is basically the screen here and we can, uh, you know, browse through all of them by scrolling to the right. And there are all of our applications, uh, you know, by alphabetical order. And we can search, for example, just, uh, you know, aircraft and uh, there is, you know, aircraft right there. So anyways, guys, that's about it for my hands-on demo of Windows 8. Definitely let me know what you guys think of Windows 8 in the comment section below. And be sure to leave a like rating down below if this video helped you guys out. And subscribe for more content. Thanks all for watching.